Hi, it's Brad from TCON again, and today we're going to look at a different type of work center that we have in MES Cut. Let's dive in. So, um, done earlier videos on um, kind of real production in both extrusion as well as the paper industry, but we have a lot of customers that deal in kind of individual part level, so discrete production. So we're going to take a look at one of those work centers. Here I'm going to dive into the assembly and I'm going to activate it. And if you haven't looked at any of our other videos, um, you'll notice right away that it looks quite a bit different. Um, and here you can see a number of the tabs. Some are the same, some are different, but the starting screen is, is, is quite significantly different. Um, and so here you have actually the machine status. In this case, I'm gonna have to enter this manually because of um, it's a demo system, but for the most part, you would actually try to take the system status away from or from the machine that you're operating on. But in this case, I can start, you can have various different start codes, you can have various different stop codes. And then you can finish. And at the same time, you can receive record certain amount of production, you can re record certain amount of scrap quantity. You can define codes based off that scrap quantity. And then in the end, you can do a final confirmation and post the material. So it's just a different way when you're dealing more with the part individual level, how you record the information, how um, is it built to make sense as most possible for the user. A lot of these buttons have been designed to be used on a touch interface. Of course, in certain, certain circumstances, you can make them bigger to make it more even user-friendly if someone's wearing gloves. Um, and we've also had added some shortcuts here to the side. So you can do things like leave shift notes here if that's in the system or um, enter in a maintenance notification if something breaks. So you can automatically do it here by the user interface. Um, there's just very as various aspects that we've built into the system to be beneficial for our customers. So. Um, that just gives you an overview of how this can be built differently, um, what kind of flexibility there is in the system, um, and how you can design it to match your production. So I hope they gave you a, a decent overview or at least a start um, on what is possible with MES Cut. And in the future, I'm going to go into additional aspects of the tool, of the system, um, and explain some features or explain some use cases. Um, so please stay tuned. Um, in the meantime, have a great day. Thank you for your time. Bye.